Hello everybody, it's Alex Man. Today we'll be talking about the One is One Color. The One is One is a handheld game console released in Japan by Bandai. It was developed by Gunpei Yokoi Company, Koro Laboratory, and Bandai. And was the last piece of hardware of Yokoi developed before his death in 1997. The One is One was released in 1999 in the fifth generation of video game consoles. The One is One and its two later models the One One Color and the One One Crystal were officially supported until being discontinued by Bandai in 2003. During its life span, no variation of the One One was released outside of Japan, so only Japan were lucky to get this handheld. Designer Gunpei Yokoi is the same person who designed the Game Boy Color, and that's why you can see it's very similar in style as well as the back screen and design. As you can see here, I have a One One Color running the Flashmaster, designed by Ed Mandy, Fleury Play Tech, from Flashmaster.com. With the Flashmaster, you could flash ROMs into this system and basically run the games you want and go and be on the go, while you keep your original ones at home, safe and stored, so you don't damage them. Also, with the Flashmaster, you could flash the cards with translated. ROMs, which is amazing for American users to understand the game and enjoy the games that we that were not released here in the US. Here we have Battle Man Mega Man Battle Network. And you can see the colors are very difficult to see. While I'm trying to boot up the game, I have to adjust the camera a couple times as well move the move the one this one so you can see the colors on the screen. So I zoomed in a bit, and you can, as you can see here, you can barely see the game itself. So you have to constantly keep looking in different angles, or use certain lighting to see the screen perfectly. The game is fun, no doubt, and believe it or not, it's running on one AA battery, which could last up to 20 hours on the screen. What we're going to be working on now is upgrading the screen to an IPS screen, okay? With this, we should be able to have backlighting and better resolution and quality. Here's the Flashmaster, how it looks, and when it's mailed to you, it's in the 3D printed case, and it looks amazing. Okay, here we have the AliExpress IPS screen upgrade for the One One. We're going to start soldering the parts to the main board. Here's the first side, the power side. I chose the one closer to the end of the board. On the ground side, I chose the one to the left side of the board. Okay, we slid in the cable right through the hole to pass it through the other side. Make sure to use some flux on this so it makes it easier to solder the points, each point together easy. Okay, at this point, make sure you, you solder the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative. Or should I say ground? Okay. When you apply the ribbon cable, make sure you put the blue side towards the, the PCB they came with. After soldering the ground with the ground and positive with the positive, and we connect the blue ribbon, what we're going to now remove the screen from the one this one color, the original screen. Just be careful removing it. After removing that, I was able to remove the old screen using a heat gun. After heating up the plastic for a couple seconds, I was able to push it down with the, the hex screw it came with, the kit that it came with. So basically, after it was heated up, I pushed it right through this hole and the screen, the glass screen came out, the old one. Alright, now after attaching the LCD screen to the PCB, make sure the ribbon is pushed in properly and the lever is pushed down to keep it tight and snug. Here, are the two sensors to change the color for backlighting on one swan on black and white games let's put them away closer to the speaker side here make sure that that ribbon is on the white side not the blue side and here we go after it's all like you put it all back together look at the big difference on that the one swan color now has backlighting and it looks super crisp it's amazing and i get to enjoy my games now on playing in dark areas in daytime as well with, without forcing my eyes 
to be able to focus on the screen properly. Now any angle move the one that's on color, it looks crisp and clear. It's a big difference as you can see here. You can see that animations clearly. There's no lag, it looks super crisp. I'm using a rechargeable battery. Maybe that's why I see a couple flickers for a battery on the right side. Maybe it's a glitch or something, but it's amazing. Here's a boot menu flash master using and how clear it looks with the, with the IPS screen. Here we have another game. I booted up. It was a homebrew called Judgment Sword. It became extremely rare. It was a homebrew, so it was easy to download. They actually won the award and some people got lucky to purchase this game back then when it was released. There was a competition in this game one. But you can see how clear it looks. It's amazing. As again, you could also play different orientation on this one so on. So if you do homebrew, you could do shoot 'em ups from different orientations. As you can see, it was fun to do this upgrade. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. This is Alex Dirty Man. Give a like, make sure you subscribe, and please comment and let me know what you thought about this upgrade.